When you say or write something, you need to organize the details and not just put them in random order. So as to be effective in this aspect, you need to know how to use logical connectors. To help you deepen your understanding of the concept, let us discuss logical connectors in greater detail. Let's begin by studying the following sentences. Before the arrival of the Spaniards and the introduction of Christianity, the Filipinos had already developed their own traditions and form of worship. The Filipinos, moreover, had their own form of government. Therefore, to say that the Spaniards brought order to the country by introducing their systems is incorrect. The first sentence makes use of a sequential connector. As the name implies, sequential connectors indicate the order. They help to clarify the sequence of events over time. In the second sentence, we use the connectors moreover and therefore. The connector moreover adds to the information that was already stated and is called a corroborative connector. These are connectors that add, repeat, and intensify. It helps add information and intensify arguments. We also use therefore, which is a concluding connector and helps to, of course, conclude or end a series of ideas. The ones I've mentioned are only some of the examples of logical connectors. Once again, logical connectors are words, phrases, or sentences that connect two ideas or make logical transitions between them. In other words, logical connectors are tools to create coherence and consistency which make the relationship between ideas clearer to the reader. Because of the importance of consistency and coherence in any write-up, so too are logical connectors. For using appropriate logical connectors ensures the smooth and systematic flow of ideas in your write-up. Let's talk about the different kinds of logical connectors during our synchronous session. For now, Grab your English books and turn to page 5. There you will find examples of different logical connectors.